Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are back here inside of the how to make a race clicker type of game over here in Roblox. In today's video, we are going to be making the system which just allows us to go ahead and run through these gates and get wins, which is going to be awesome guys. Before I start anything off over here, I need to quickly make an announcement. I have a Patreon page where you guys can join for the only, um, the only price of £8 a month guys. Not too, I've not, I've set this as low as I possibly can guys. This is quite a low price and for this guys, you get all of my past and previous Roblox Studio files. Um, content in every single different episode I host on this channel over here guys so if you want to download the scripts if you guys are struggling here you can um, somebody download them and put them in Roblox right now guys which is kind of easy and you never know guys with that you could maybe get a successful game and make a lot more than eight pounds a month but yeah guys let's go ahead and get into it now so guys first things first what we are going to want to go ahead and do over here is pretty much this okay so what we need to do right now is create a part and we are going to size this part three 3.5 um so 3.5 comma 5 and comma 2 just for you guys let's quickly bring this up a little bit next what we want to do over here is now go ahead and make this part um well make sure it's not anchored but make this part can card off then we want to go ahead and make sure that the transparency is set to one so let's quickly slide this to one and after that guys we're going to call this part hitbox just over here guys call this hitbox okay next what we are going to go ahead and do over here guys and um, one second i didn't mean to duplicate that what we are going to go ahead and do next is pretty much this guys so what we want to do here is now inside of this hitbox guys we want to go ahead and add um i want to face it this side we're going to add a new thing guys called a attachment and what we need to do over here guys is actually call this attachment dmg point just over here guys so capital d m g point just over here make sure you guys do name exactly as you see it's here also guys to be fair it probably would be a little bit easier if i start down the transparency guys and um, so we can quickly put these in a good a good place right now guys so what you're gonna want to do is kind of position these points a little bit behind not too far behind guys and then about um one on each end of the hitbox so we're gonna duplicate this three times guys so we're gonna um, hit ctrl d and then ctrl d again guys so now we have three different attachments over here guys three different ones that go from from that end to the other end of the hitbox over here guys now what we can do here is just slide down this transparency to zero again okay after we've done this what we are going to go ahead and do next right now guys sorry no not, not to zero we're going to want to slide this out by one what we are going to do next is pretty much this so what we want to do right now guys is essentially go ahead and put this into replicated storage here we go put this in replicated storage and then after that guys we are going to create a new um file in service script service guys and we're gonna make this script called um we're gonna name the we're gonna name this give hitbox just for here next what we want to do in this is pretty much this we're gonna do local players um local players and that's equal to game um game get service players next we are gonna do local replicated storage um replicated storage and that's gonna be equal to game get service replicated storage next we are going to do local hitbox so we're going to find the hitbox in the replicate storage right now guys so with child hitbox of course and now we want to do this we're going to do players dot player added connect function and then inside this guys we're going to put in the player in these brackets next we want to do player dot character um a character added and then we're going to connect the function because we are going to actually put the hitbox on the character so we need to wait for the character to be in the game before we can do this so we're going to put a character in there next what we want to do over here guys is pretty much this we're going to do local humanoid root part so humanoid root part and that's going to be equal to character wait for child humanoid root part um humanoid root part then what we're going to do over here guys is this we're going to do local part and that's going to be equal to hitbox we're going to clone this hitbox guys next we want to do part dot c frame um is equal to humanoid root part dot c frame um dot c frame just over here next we're going to do local weld and that's going to be equal to instance dot new um i'm going to add a weld constraint a weld constraint after that guys we are going to do weld dot part one sorry as part zero and that's going to be equal of course to the new hitbox part then we're going to do weld dot part one and that's going to be equal to the humanoid root part so essentially guys 
um, is equal to human through pot. The reason why we use using worlds is because our pot is not anchored. So we kind of want to anchor this to the to the character. But if we did anchor it properly, guys, the character wouldn't be able to move. So we use this. We use welds, which pretty much attach this hitbox onto the character at all times, which is quite nice. Next, we are going to do pot, um, pot dot parent, and that is going to be equal to, of course, the character. And then we want to weld, um, what well, we want to parent the weld to the pot. After that, guys, so now we have a hitbox that's going to attach to every single player that joins the game. You know what, guys? I can quickly show you this, I guess. Let me quickly just drag down the transparency to not not, not too much. Um, it's your point five. There we go, guys. So if I now play the game, um, we will have a hitbox, as you can see, attached to us over here. So, guys, well, how are we going to go ahead and make this hitbox? Well, how, how are we going to actually detect whenever we, we pass through a gate over here guys well normally we would maybe use dot touched events over here guys but that's not the case because we will be traveling at really really high speeds well of course players that play the game for a little while we're gonna try they're gonna travel at really really high speeds so we don't really want to use the dot touched events guys as they sometimes won't register that you have to actually pass through a gate we are actually going to use something called ray casting guys and we are going to use a module called the ray casting hitbox module i'm going to show you guys where to find this so what you guys are going to want to do here is come to this link in the description. It's to, or just search for Raycast Hitbox on Google. Next, guys, you'll be brought to this page. Just click on Raycast, Raycast Hitbox V4 on Roblox, guys. And make sure that you guys have this item. Just go in and get this. And then what you want to do over here is actually import this to Roblox Studio. So, guys, to do this, you just go to your own two blocks and then you would go to my models. You get that. Um, it's a module script, guys. You go ahead and get the module script. And then you'd go ahead and put it into roblox studio of course okay guys so now that you have this module in recast hitbox v4 you're gonna want to put this inside of replicate storage next what we are gonna do over here is create a script in the hitbox itself guys i don't know what i'm gonna call this script guys i'll call it make rays or something like this make rays just over here what we are gonna do right now guys is essentially make some rays come out of this hitbox right now guys and that's just going to be a lot of a better well a much better way of detecting whenever we pass through a gate so to do this guys we want to do this we're going to do local replicated storage and that's going to be equal to game get service replicate storage next we're going to do local ray cast um sorry ray cast uh ray cast hitbox and that's going to be equal to require sorry require replicate the storage wait for child raycast hitbox v4 so we are getting this module script over here guys this module script is just pretty much a mm, tons of scripts over here guys tons of lot tons of lines of code which pretty much tells you guys whenever um something has been it, it pretty much is an alternative to a dot touch event but it's a lot more reliable over here guys so that's why we are using this um but yeah guys anyway what we are gonna go ahead and do next guys is essentially this so what we want to do is pretty much do um we're gonna find the players guys so we're gonna do local players and that's gonna equal to game get service players next guys we want to do local events and then guys we are gonna go ahead and do to be fair we don't really need to do that guys if you wanted to play a sound locally i guess you can you know we'll, we'll just do that guys so we're going to do local events and that's going to be equal to replicate the storage wait for child um to be fair right i'm just going to do gate pass over here right now guys and i'm just going to go ahead and add a you know what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly copy and paste um the the sound which i used from my from my um other studio tab that i've got open over here guys um, I pretty much just have these whenever, um, whenever I'm going ahead and, all right, I don't know what's just went ahead and went on there. One second, guys. Um, okay. Anyway, right. Okay, let me quickly go ahead and just copy this and let's paste that in here right now, guys. Okay. So I've went ahead and got a replicated. I'm um, gonna. I've got a sound over here, guys. I'm just gonna call this gate past. Just over here, guys. I'm gonna call this sound gate pass. You guys can find a sound which you guys like off the toolbox. You don't really need to use the same sound as me. But yeah, guys, do it. Um, we're gonna do local sound, and that's gonna be equal. Actually, to be honest, um, no, we, we kind of wanna. Yeah, it's, so we're actually gonna add in your remote, remote event, guys, and that's gonna be from this remote event. It's gonna be gate past. Just over here, guys. Um, replicate storage gate past. Just over here. 
and then instead of events here guys we're gonna do gate pass yeah we don't need to get the sound just yet but make sure the sound's not the same as the um as the remote effect guys i gonna call this gate sound something like this there we go guys gate sound okay what we are gonna do next is pretty much first of all find the hitbox which is of course hit um the script up parent so local hit box it's gonna be equal to script dot parent next guys we're gonna find the character so local character is equal to hitbox dot parent because if you guys remember we parented the well we parented the hitbox to the child um anyway guys we're gonna so, sorry to the character then we're gonna do if hitbox um then find first ancestor of class then model um is equal equal to character then we are gonna do player um sorry um low yeah we'll just do one second i don't know what i've done here player and that's gonna be equal to players sorry players there we go then get player from character and of course we're gonna put the character in there so guys we are now getting the player so after that guys we are gonna go ahead and set up some stuff to do with this module script over here do this guys we're gonna do local params and that's gonna be equal to ray ray cast params um dot new after that guys we want to do params um dot filter descendant instances and that's going to be equal to the make sure you guys do this big curly brackets and then hitbox and also hitbox and also the character just over here guys what this is pretty much doing is kind of making the block this so if the rays cross the character or the hitbox guys it's not going to go ahead and run which is quite useful um anyway guys next we are going to do params um params dot filter type and this filter type is going to be equal to enum dot raycast filter type dot block list over here not not blocks dot block list there we go guys next we're going to do local new um new hitbox and that's going to be equal to raycast hitbox um dot new and then we're going to put the script dot parent so we're making the actual hitbox block a hitbox then we're going to do new hitbox dot ray cast um params and that's going to be equal to the params over here next guys we want to do new hitbox dot visualizer and that's going to be sorry it's with a z visualizer and that's going to be equal to false next we're going to do new hitbox dot detection mode um dot detection mode and that's going to be equal to two next we're going to do new hitbox colon hit star just to be here after we've done this guys we are going to go ahead and find the leader stats and all sorts of stuff so local leader stats um and that's going to be equal to game and no, sorry sorry player wait for child leader stats just over here um after that guys we are going to do local wins and that's going to be equal to leader stats wait for child is it a capital w or is it lowercase it's a capital w over here guys so um leader stats wait for child wins Okay, now that I've done this, guys, we are going to go ahead and continue. So pretty much, guys, what we want to do next is this. We're going to do um, new new hitbox dot on hit, sorry, connect. And then we're going to do function hit just over here. Next, guys, we're going to do if hit dot name is equal, equal. Make sure you guys equal this to whatever you called the gate. So it's equal, equal to win gate then so we are just checking if it's actually the gate over here guys then we're gonna do local gate number and that's gonna be equal to two number hit dot surface um ui dot text label dot text mm, label and then dot text just to be here guys there we go okay after we've done this guys pretty much you can kind of um well right to be fair okay so what one thing that i am going to say guys depending on how many gates that you guys have um so i've got 20 gates right now of course guys yours will probably be different you um but pretty much what you want to do here is inside this make raise thing we're gonna do if gate number is equal equal put the max number well put the amount of gates that you guys spawn for me it's 20 i'm um, actually is it 20 i think it might be 20 guys i'm not too sure um right i can't remember if it's um i think it should be 20 over here guys if gate number is equal equal to 20 then we are going to do character dot humanoid um 
humanoid root part and then dot velocity and that's going to be equal to vector three dot new zero 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 so essentially guys we are stopping the player still because um if the player is going like 10,000 speed they're going to just fly out the map over here guys we kind of don't want that next guys we're going to just go ahead and loop through these so for example we'll do sorry we, we kind of want to put these outside of this if statement so for example we could do if gate number um is greater than zero and gate number is i don't know less than 10 then you could do something like this we could do wins dot value is equal to wins dot value plus one and then guys we could do something like else if gate number i don't know is um is greater or equal to 10 um and gate number is let's just, just say less than 15 then we'll do wins dot value is equal to wins dot value um plus let's just say three this time um so guys you can kind of just change this to however sorry um gate number 10 i forgot to put 10 over there guys but you can kind of just change this to have a, however many wins you guys would want to give like for for the gates in each section over here guys we could for example do get past is equal um is um greater than or equal to 15 the gate number is um or to be fair greater than or equal to 15 because that's kind of our last one then we can maybe add five this time so yeah you can kind of change this up to however you guys would like um but yeah we are going to go in and test this now and hopefully it should work what i'm going to quickly do though is just inside a starter player i'm going to change the starter player script i'm um, sorry the starter walk the, sorry the character walk speed i'm quite tired today because i'm supposed apologies about this i was going to go ahead and set this to a fast one so we can kind of move fast and go through these gates fast let's go in and test this out guys hopefully it works so um currently guys you have one wins but if we, we pass this gate okay one second infinite yield possible and replicated storage okay maybe i think i probably spelled this wrong let's have a little look right now guys have i spelled this wrong i normally spell things wrong guys know me um yep i know why because i've accidentally moved this inside of the hitbox there we go guys put this inside the replicated storage not inside the hitbox i don't know why i done that or how i done that guys but apparently i did okay anyway hopefully this works right now guys so we pass this nope that's not gonna work um right okay text table is not a uh, yep it's because i spelled that wrong over here guys yep this is normal me spelling everything wrong over here guys um label just over here guys okay third time lucky it should work this time let's have a little go right now okay let's pass through this gate and yep as you can see over here guys we are now have two wins we have three wins um four now and if we go ahead and move past section 10 we will go ahead and stop to get more wins let me quickly just increase my walk speed a little bit more guys so this is a bit a bit faster for you all we'll do five thousand here we go guys and as you can see so we've got six wins we've got seven here eight nine ten so as you can see over here guys there's just um a bunch of stuff right now guys um attempt to compare instance to that um right okay guys number greater than equal to instance that might just slip through over here guys that shouldn't really happen too often let's have a little look over here guys um yeah we, we, i um okay let me quickly have a look right now guys i wonder what i have done here let's have a look one second guys i'll meet you back once i've once i've fixed this sorry guys typical average me i really should do these when i'm completely fresh but yeah guys i've accidentally done gate past over here guys sorry about that yeah gate number that's gonna work guys do not worry about that over here guys that should all be working right now it's just me making a stupid mistake but yeah guys this should all be <laughs> i've got no clue what's going on over here guys but yeah pretty much that's how you guys can go ahead and make this it's working um working collection script over here guys because if you did use dot touch this would barely work half the time but yeah guys that's gonna be up for this video here remember guys i've got a patreon account which you guys can join if you are struggling but yeah guys watch um well stick around for the next episodes coming soon but yeah guys i hope you all did enjoy this video like and subscribe for more